the right opportunity, Gary, what's the highest weight you could go to? Could it be 35 if, if, if it was the right opportunity? The right opportunity was the highest I can go to? Yeah. I fight Terrence Crawford at 47, like I see. And I come in at like 140. What did you think of his fight with Sean? Um, I, I thought he did okay. I mean, I, I honestly felt like that Terrence is a better, he's a better boxer than Sean Porter. I felt like Sean was going to bring more tenacity. He was going to bring the tenacity. Sean Porter, that was the thing of athleticism. Sean was Sean had a level of athleticism, but Terrence is more he's more fundamentally sound, you know, when it comes to actual skill wise. Like you were talking about with you and Tank? Yeah, but he's not better than me. <laughs> it's a difference. It's a difference. You know, you know everyone wants to know how it would go down with him and Errol. Do you do you have uh, using your I, boxing I, I brain? Got, I'll, uh, I'll take Earl over Terrence. I'll pick Earl over Terrence. I think it's still a fight, super but I think Earl bigger, he's, he's going to be a little more physical. He'll be a little more physical. I'll take Earl over uh, Terrence. And he's busy too, right? Yeah. yeah. 70, 75 punches sometimes. And to be honest with you, Earl is the bigger of the two anyway. You right. know what I'm saying? He's naturally that way. Terrence is naturally that way. Here. Oh yeah, yeah. Fulton and Figueroa. Yeah. Uh, Figueroa is big as hell, but Fulton's got great skills, great speed. Who do you think wins this fight, man? Once again, you are all I want Fulton. I feel like Figueroa. He's a pressure fighter. I think he's going to come and late, late on the later half of the fight. I think he's going to start pouring it on. And he's gonna pull it on, he's gonna start touching the body real good. Um, we'll see as the corn toss. Mm -hmm. I'm going for Fulton though. Mm -hmm. So we'll see. We'll see. He's fighting a big boy, man. Yeah, he's fighting a big boy, but that shit don't matter. That's just a bigger target. Right. It's a bigger target, easy to hit. Hard to keep a guy like that off though, right? One of them. Uh, you gotta stay inside. It depends. Wait, wait. Styles make fights. Fulton isn't really a, a heavy puncher puncher. I can fight at 26, I can fight at 30, and I can fight at 35, and motherfucker's still gonna respect my pop. Right. I don't think he's gonna bring the pop to make Figueroa actually stay off of him. You know what I mean? So that's where it gets tricky at. So we'll see. Should be a great fight with your little brother on the card too. Oh yeah. So oh yeah. Thank you, Gary. Oh yeah. Um, Hell yeah. And, and we know. Don't ever ask who the fastest brother again. That's we, right. Don't, don't. Yeah, that, that's a very divisionary question. Um, we all have great skill set. Um, I'm the prototype, and the definition of a dynasty is information being passed down from generation to generation. Hopefully, each generation should get stronger. You know, and that's that's where we're at. So it's not a thing of comparing the two because it's kind of disrespectful. You know, to a well, your, your family gets yeah. major respect from all the fighters in the sport. Oh, I mean, yeah. when they, because you know, y'all all go back to the amateurs. So they right. always are like right. those Russell boys. And man. guess what? A lot of the guys that we go back from the amateurs, they will tell you. Even the guys that's now that's champions. All of these guys, none of them was the that that guy. They were, one year they might be the number three, next year they might be the number two, they might have a lucky year and become number one, but they were always flip-flop. I was always that dog. I was always number one. Every year I competed, any tournament, every tournament, I ran through shit. That's always what it's been.